Now today we are going to study and turn from yesterday. Let's try to remember. Okay, remember the last example. You remember the last example? Do you remember the last example? The what? last last example that we saw. Do you remember it? Uh, Find first five term. Find first five terms. Five terms with a with the rule. With the rule multiplied by two and added three. Now what we did for this one here. Here we are going to say position. There was first turn, second turn, third turn, fourth turn, fifth turn, and this will be position. Position. Yeah, and first order, second order, third order. This will be position. Then, then we had the terms. Then we found the terms. Then we found the terms. How we found the terms? Applying this rule. Okay, the first one, it's number one. It's multiplied by two plus three. Multiplied by two and plus three. What is the result? One multiplied by two, two plus three. First term was five. Five. Second term, it was multiplied by two. Again, the rule I am applying plus three. Now, what is the result? Two multiplied two, four, and plus three. It was seven. Seven. But the other was was nine. The other was one. Eleven, and the other was was thirty. Thirteen. Now, do you see? Now the position, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Here's the rule and the terms becomes in this form. Now there are many terms. Now here, let's say and turn. And turn. How will be the, uh, yani the position and position will be, how will be the turn? How we are going to write this? There's gonna be yeah. what? Um, n multiplied two uh, plus three. Two n plus uh, no two n plus three. Okay, yeah. now I am not changing this order. It will be n multiplied two plus three, or I can write for this one what two n plus three three three. Now here, how we are going to derive this and term. Today we are going to start to how we will get this and term here. Now let's go, let's find uh, the and term. Generally, it's called general term or and term. Now here, and term will be and term or general term. We are going to say because, for example, if we want thousand term now we are going to use this formula and term now let's continue let's uh, give another example here uh, let's say we have uh, another sequence like this one 12 16 20 24 and 28. Now question is this one, how we are going to find the end term? How we will find the end term? How we will find the end term? Before finding the end term, we need to find, what we need to find? The rule. The rule, the yes. 
the oh. rule. We need to find the rule. What can be the rule here? Uh, plus four. Yes, here we are going to see it's plus four. Now here again it's plus four. Plus four. Plus four. Now what we can write for this one directly? N plus four. Plus four. Oh, it's not easy. N plus four. If I am going going to write, you have to find the position the term rule. Four. The first term will be at that time. Look at it. The first term will be five. Now here oh, something yeah. is missing. Here, so we have to find the position to term rule. Okay, position to turn rule. How we will do that one? How we will find position to turn rule? Now here, 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 if there is a plus four in every time four, it means I can say it multiplied by four. There must be four multiplied n. Because uh, this is what? Three multiplied four, this is four multiplied four, this is Five multiplied four. This is four. six multiplied four. Seven multiplied four. Now here four n. But even four n is not enough. There is something missing. If I am going to put instead of n one, it will be four. But the first term must be twelve. But here, if instead of n I am going to put one, okay, it will not be twelve. It will be just four. There is something missing then. If four n I am going to write the sequence here. First one will be if 4n, first one will be 4. Second one will be 8. eight. Third one will be 12. Fourth eight. one will be 16. 16. Okay, 20. But I have, I have what? I have 12. I have 16. I have 20 here. Do you see? I have 24 here and I have 28 here. Now, what is the relation between these two sequences? Mm. Now, how many more? This is four, this is 12. How many more this one? It's plus eight, plus is it three. true? Eight yes. plus eight, is it true? Make 16. 12 plus 8 makes 20. 16 plus 8, it makes 24. 20 plus 8, it makes 28. Now, do you see? Then our sequence will be what? 4 and plus 8. Is it true? Now let's check, is it true or not? Now I am going to put first here, second here, third here, fourth, fifth position. And if I am going to put instead of n1, four multiplied one plus eight is equal to what? Four plus one Twelve. plus eight is equal to what? Twelve. 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 2 multiplied 4 plus 8 is what? 16. 16. Now, 3 multiplied 4 plus 8? 24. It's 20. 4 multiplied 4 plus 8 is what? 24. 24. And the next one will be 28. Now, did you see using this one, this rule, I am finding this sequence. Is it true? Yes. Yes, then this is what? For n term, I am going to use this formula or this way. Any question? No. Okay, question is this one. If Now I am going to say if zero position, zero position, turn will be what? 
Eight. Yes. If zero position, turn will be what? Turn will be. Turn will be eight. Oh, any yeah. any question? No. Okay. Let's continue. Let's try to do another example. The other example is this one. I I have a sequence here. One. Four. Seven. Ten. 13 and the other. What will be the end? Turn. Now, what will be the end? Turn. Now, here what we are going to do, we are going to make position and turn table, let's say. Uh, Is it three N plus one? What? Well, no, but the one you can't see. Is it three Yeah, it should N be something one? with subtracting. But there is not any things now. Now look at it. What you are going to see, what you are seeing here now. What is the difference here? Common difference. P plus three, plus okay. three. Okay, let's say it's plus three. Now this one, plus three. Okay, this one, plus three. This one, plus three. Now here, let's say position. Here position. This side is position. This side is turn. First term is what here? One. One. Second term is? Four. Second term is four. Two. Third? Seven. 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 Four. Ten. Ten. And fifth will be what? 13. It will be 13. Now, here, look at it. It's plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. I can say the formula can be three and. Is it true? Yes. If I am going to say formula is three and, is it true or not? Our rule is 3N. Is it true or not? Yes. No, it's not true. It's 3N, mister. Is it 3N and something? Plus okay, one. then 3N and something. I am going to write 3N. First turn will be what? 3N plus 1. First turn is will be 4, 3N. Look at it. 4, 3N. First turn will be 3. Second turn will be 6. Third it's turn will be 9. Fourth turn will be 12. 12. Okay, 12. and fifth turn will be? Fifth turn will be 15, and it goes in this form. But our, our uh, sequence is this one. Our sequence is one, four, seven. It's three N plus one. M minus two. Okay. Three N go. minus two. Why minus two? Because three minus two will give one. And then? Just wait. And then like if you want to find the zero position. One, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. four, seven, ten, and thirteen. Now look at it. This is between this one, the difference is minus two. Here the difference is minus two. Here difference is minus two. Here difference is minus two and minus two. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add three and, and minus two minus will be. Two. Okay. This is will be and and turn. 
Now, what will be the zero one? And the zero turn will be what here? Position zero turn will be what? Minus two. Minus, yeah, minus two. two. Okay, minus two. Now, as you see, in this form, we are going to find uh, the end turn. Is there a general rule for this one? Is there a general rule for this one? Yes, there is a general rule for this one. And let's try to find it. Now the general rule, let's go. It's like if you find the zero position, you will find the rule. Now let's go, let's say position to this side. Position to this side and turn here. Now turn here. Now the first position, the first position, let's say it's going to be A. It can be any number. And here, don't think just this one. It's a variable. A can be any number. Now, the second term will be a common difference will be here. Let's say it will be A plus difference. The third term will be what? A plus two times difference. The fourth term will be a plus three the three d three times times difference. Now five it will be a plus four times difference. Now here as you see here the difference between them only d plus d minus d. If zero position, what we have? A for zero position, what we will have? Okay, there is A, it will be minus D. For zero position, turn will be A, A minus, minus D. D. Now here let's write A is first term. A first term here. First term. D is Common difference. Common difference. Okay. Now this is what we are going to write this general formula for arithmetic sequence. And term. And term. For arithmetic sequence. arithmetic sequence. It will be in this form. A first term plus N minus one times D. Okay, with this one we can find any term for any arithmetic sequence here. Now, how it will, it will work? Now, let's go how it will work. Now here, let's solve example. Okay. Okay, example is here. In example, we have find and turn. Find and turn. Find and term of arithmetic sequence of arithmetic sequence uh, 
arithmetic sequence 4, 11, 18, 25, and 32. And point, point, point goes to the infinity. Now find n term of arithmetic sequence. What we are going to do here? Here, let's, we need to find A. Yeah, any first term. We, each one is first term here. Four. Yes, four is first term. First term. Okay, is four. Yeah, and A is equal to four. Now, what is the common difference here? Plus seven. What is the common difference here? Plus seven. Are you sure? It's plus seven. And it's plus seven. And it's plus seven. Yes. First term is that one. And common difference D is equal to seven is equal to D. Now, can I, can I write the uh, rule, general rule? How we are going to write general rule? A plus N minus one and D. A is four plus N minus one multiplied by seven. Now, this is my n term formula. I can correct it. I can do it like this one. 4 plus 7 and minus 1. I can open the parenthesis and I can combine like terms. I can write it in this form. 4 plus 7 and minus 7. Okay, it will be 4 minus 7, 7 and minus 3 will be and rule. And rule. Is it true or not? How we are going to check it? Now, this is which term? First term, is it true? 4 is first term. 11, yes. second term. 18 second is term. third term. 25 is fourth term. Fifth term is what? 34. 32, not four. Sorry, it's 32. Not four. 32. Now, look at it. I am going to use this formula. E, okay, fifth term. Yeah, and N is equal to five. It will be seven multiplied five minus three. 7 multiplied 5 is what? 35 minus 3 is equal to 32. Did you see? Fifth term is 32. I found it. Any question? No. Now let's find fourth, 14. Turn. Let's say n is equal to 40. Now we are going to find this one. We know the rule 7n minus 3. Instead of n, what I am going to replace? 40. 40. 40. Well done. 7 multiplied 40 minus 3. What is the result? Now the result will be 280 minus 3. What is the result? 277. 277. Is it true? Uh -huh. yeah. Now the, last qu the other question is this one. Which term in the sequence is 158? Okay, which term Which term is 
158. Now, how we are going to do this one? It's very simple. Okay, like we are going equation. to use our rule. What? Like an equation, 7 and minus Yes, like an equation. It will be 7 and minus 3 must be equal to what? 158. 158 will be. Now, like equation, solve it. Add both sides 3. 7 and will be equal to 161. 160. Not 60. 161 will be. Now, from okay. here, both sides divide by 7. 7 and divided by 7 is equal to 161 divided by 7. The result will be equal to what? N will be equal to N will be equal 23. Any question? Then 23rd term is 23rd term is 158. Is there any question? No. Now let's solve another example. Find and turn. Now the other example. Question is same. Find and turn. Find and term of the sequence. Okay, let's say 17, 15, okay, 13, 11, 9, and the other things. Now, here, okay, we need to find what here? We need to find two things. First term. And the common difference. Yes, common difference. Okay, and I'm let's say D. What is the first term here? 17. Yes, first term is 17. What is the common difference? Minus, minus two. two. Okay, let's say minus two. Now, what is our uh, rule? Our rule for n term a plus uh, n minus 1 multiplied by d. a is 17 plus d is minus 2. I am going to use in parentheses here and multiply n minus 1. It will be 17, okay, minus 2 multiplied n minus 2n it will be minus 2n minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 it will be uh, sorry yes multiplied it will be plus 2 now what we are going to write 17 plus uh, 2 will be what 19 minus 2n is n term of this Sequence. Any question? No. Okay. If there is no any question, uh, the homework will be homework will be okay. Page two hundred thirty-six. Page two hundred thirty-six, and exercises will be. will be 14 L. Now with this one, we are, we finished. We finished uh, our chapter. After this one, there is consolidation. Now, how do you want to solve the consolidation? Uh, it can be homework and if we don't understand the questions, we can ask next class. Yeah. Now, let's do it like this one. Tomorrow, uh, I will be here and I am going to wait for your uh, questions. 
you are going to ask me what you couldn't solve, and I am going to answer it. Is that is it okay? Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow we will not take a new lesson. No, it's a lesson, but uh, it's practice. Yeah, it's practice. Need to solve the consolidation, and after that we will continue.